what is meant to be the most efficient discounting machine on the planet has suddenly woken up and realized some tax cuts are coming. Am I really meant to believe that's what hap that's what's happening? Uh, well, I mean, what happened was is up until probably the very last minute, everyone was focused on are we going to get something? What's going to be in it? What's it going to look like? And all of a sudden, now the question is, what does it mean for every single company separately? And there's this massive readjustment on asset values that's happening. So what does it mean? What's the kind of research you've been doing in the last couple of weeks? Well, what, what you're seeing is, is that the market is making a very crude initial attempt to figure out who are the very big winners, which would be companies that are mostly domestically oriented like banks and uh, transports and retailers and companies that are more global uh, in nature that are able to, uh, f you know, kind of lower their tax rate or shield it abroad yeah. like tech companies. And it's literally just rotating from those, you know, the, those companies like like tech into some of those other names. It all looked calm yesterday on the S&P 500, but it masked the vicious rotation that was taking place beneath. It. And Steve, we can take a look at the chart, the baskets courtesy of Goldman Sachs, the high tax stocks and the low tax stocks. And it's a pivot away from low tax and a pivot towards high tax. It's starting to pick up. Does this have some, log some longevity, Steve, some, some room to run? We do think so, Jonathan. We, we've been, uh, you know, our last ad tech when he's back in September, we added to small cap value stocks, probably because we thought uh, the tax bill would be going through. Uh, the market has been a rotational market for the last... 18 months and uh, you know people forget the financials had a big run right after the president was elected then we took a rest uh, techs led I think it's very natural the tech stocks are a little stretched we still like them here you know Google and Facebook are trading at 21 times next year's earnings on these numbers so I don't yeah. think this correction lasts forever on the tech but certainly the big beneficiaries of the tax bill if you factor in the better growth the steeper yield curve that we think we get and, uh, and certainly lower tax rate of the financials, uh, the cyclicals.